to be released from this clinic. And trust me, I will be denouncing the curious way you've treated Kirk and your other patients. You have a very unique way of practicing medicine. I find your defiance troubling, Miss Walker. I'm responsible for ensuring your recovery goes well. Of course, I can only strongly disapprove of a premature release. I'm not interested in your opinion. Let me leave this instant. Fine. Unfortunately, I cannot prevent you from leaving us. But please, please assuage my professional conscience before you go, and let me check your pulse. What the... It's for your own good, Miss Walker. Believe me. You must receive treatment, whether you like it or not. I can't believe Dr. Olga drugged me. That woman is completely insane. Not very well, I'm afraid. This situation can't go on, Kirk. So what can I do to help you get out? The best thing, Kate Walker, is for you to go alone. And if you really want to help me, once you are outside, go to Valsambor and try to recover my prosthesis from the craftsmen. If you bring it back to me, Dr. Zamiatine will put it on, and I will be able to go back to my tribe. Can we trust Dr. Zamiatine? I'm not so sure when I see what this clinic is like. The man has always been a friend to the Ukols, and I'm sure he'll be able to help you leave the hospital and find the craftsman in Valsambor. Okay. I promise to come back as soon as I can with your prosthesis, Kirk. Until then, hang in there. Thank you, Kate Walker. And may the spirits be with you. Why not have a seat for a bit in the waiting room? It's just near the offices, right behind reception. The funicular is out of service until further notice. Why not have a seat for a bit in the waiting room? It's just near the offices, right behind reception. Ah, hello, Miss Walker. How very delightful to see you up and about. 
Even if I really have to admit that I'm a bit surprised, our dear Dr. Olga painted a far darker picture of your current state of health. Perhaps you should go upstairs more often to check on the condition of your patients, Doctor. You would see for yourself what Olga and Dr. Mangling are putting them through. Good Lord. What do you mean? You need to understand that Olga isn't the virtuous doctor that you seem to think. That woman spends all her time looking for unbelievable problems in her patients and makes diagnoses that she justifies through bizarre tests with systematically skewed results. And that's not to mention the treatment she's putting poor Kirk through. Listen to me, Miss Walker. I know that waking up after a prolonged period in a coma is difficult. In such a context, anxiety attacks are very normal. But please, do not project it onto Dr. Olga. I'm not getting any younger, you know, and running this clinic is a very heavy burden. The last few years, Olga has shown she is capable of assisting me. I have every faith in her. I'm not having an anxiety attack, Doctor. When I asked Olga to let me leave, she drugged me. I know. Olga has informed me of the incident. According to her, you were unfortunately very aggressive and disturbed. And she had to inject a tranquilizer. Dr. Mangoling spoke to me about your violent tendencies. But... The subject is closed, Miss Walker. But let me tell you that your insistence is misplaced. It corroborates, I'm afraid, the conclusions in your psychological assessment. I... As you like, Doctor. Please tell me about that pendant you have around your neck. I must admit I noticed it as soon as you walked in. It belonged to Oscar, a friend who passed away. I understand, Miss Walker. I myself have borne the weight of grief for decades now. Wearing a token from someone dear to you is a natural thing. Dr. Zamiatine, I promised Kirk I'd go to the craftsman in Valsambur and bring back his mechanical prosthesis. The poor boy has been waiting for it for ages, so I'd like to try to speed up the process. Would you tell me how to get there? Now there's a truly noble initiative, Miss Walker. I asked my clockmaker friend Simon Steiner to manufacture the young Yukol's mechanical prosthetic leg. He's a capable craftsman and ingenious. You'll find him in his workshop near the Valsambor port. I imagine he must almost be finished with his work by now. He makes amazing things. You'll see. Can you authorize my release so that I can see Dr. Steiner? Unfortunately, I've been told that the clinic is in lockdown. You will have to ask Dr. Olga, Miss Walker. She signed the current order to lock our establishment down. She's in charge of giving out the passes. This book should answer any of the questions you may have about our Yukol's friends. Farewell and bon voyage, Miss Walker. Why did the Yukols ask you to heal Kirk? On each of their migrations, the Yukol shamans and I have exchanged medical knowledge. Their trance therapy and materia medica have provided astounding results for my patients affected by psychological afflictions. In exchange, I do what I can to take care of those injured that they can't heal using their traditional medicine. Like, uh, that poor boy who lost his leg. How many ostrich migrations have you seen? This is the third one. I'm lucky to have seen so many of them. It's a rare spectacle. Believe me, the great herd of ostriches accompanied by the Yukols doomed to blindly follow their animals wherever they happen to roam. And they don't care about countries, wars, and borders. You seem to like the Yukols, Dr. Zamiatine. They are a fascinating people, you know, and such astonishing medicine infused with shamanism. 
without which no doubt you would have never arrived in this clinic alive, Miss Walker. I get the impression that the Yukos aren't much liked around here. Indeed. It would seem that most of the inhabitants of Valsambor are now quite hostile towards them. This wasn't the case a while back, you know. When I was young, the migration of the snow ostriches was an event widely welcomed with open arms in Valsambor. Why the change in attitude? Our region was actually somewhat devastated 20 years ago. Dramatic events changed the way people viewed the world. The people turned inward on themselves. They're less welcoming. And the fact that the Yukols have been stuck here, next to Lake Valsambor for several weeks, hasn't helped. It's really necessary for me to ask Olga's permission to leave? You're the director of this clinic, after all. Olga is my right-hand woman. I can't keep her uninvolved in current matters, Miss Walker. She is also currently your doctor. You should really talk with her about it. She isn't as evil as you seem to believe. You'll find her in her office, most probably. You will find Dr. Olga hard at work in her office, Miss Walker. I'm here to see my husband. He's been here months and months. <laughs> His doctors say that he hasn't fully recovered yet. I'm here to see my husband. He's been here months and months. <laughs> I've been waiting for my appointment for hours. That's just incredible, isn't it? Shutting down the funicular while there are still visitors. I've been waiting for my appointment for hours. The American is awake. You must hurry, Colonel. How is she doing? Miss Walker is rather restless. I had to administer a tranquilizer. But I'm afraid I won't be able to keep her here for very long, Colonel. She is very quickly going to become a problem. Kate Walker will always represent a problem for us, and also for our cause, Dr. Olga Efimova. I can use methods that are more... how should I put it... medical. No. Not for the moment. That isn't a very good idea. I want her back in good condition. And what about the tribe of nomads? Just like the past two years, Lake Valsambor hasn't frozen over. So the herd can't cross the ice. They're stuck here. And also, their young guide is still in our... If everything goes as planned, soon the Yukuls will have no choice but to go back home. Especially as I have a plan to speed things up. Fine. There's also the American detective, Colonel. He should be arriving soon. Let him meet with Miss Walker if that's what he wants to do. No point alarming him just yet. But when all is said and done, we're the ones who are handling the young woman's case. 
No American is going to come here and tell us what to do. What? Where did she go? Hello, Miss Efimova. I'm here to see you two. Walker, it really is you! What a coincidence. I've been looking for you for weeks. Uh, Mr. Canton, I presume? Ah, I see that my reputation precedes me. Miss Efimova must have told you I was coming. No, I just now learned of your existence, Mr. Canton. A while ago, my employer in New York informed me that he was going to stick a detective on my back. I don't like to boast, but I'm the best detective on the East Coast. Never a problem with me. I've been asked to bring you back home safe and sound, Miss Walker. I should be in Balsambor in a few hours. I have no need of a knight in shining armor holding my hand, Mr. Canton. Look, Miss Walker, I'm just doing my job. I'm sorry. I'm afraid you've made the trip for nothing. Yes. I mean, I'm not so sure. The Justice Department is looking for you, you know. The Feds are looking for me? But what's the charge? I've done nothing wrong. Embezzlement! Apparently, you took off with a contract for the sale of the clockwork toy factory in Vorlberg. And you took advantage of the seller's senility. You're even suspected of being responsible for the death of one of them. A Mr. Hans Vorlberg, the last heir authorized to sign contracts with the company you represented. That's not negligible. You know, Miss Walker. This is completely ridiculous. And as far as I know, you aren't authorized to represent the Justice Department in this country. You're just a detective. So you'll have to put up with it, Mr. Canton. I'm not going back to New York with you. So leave me alone! Wait, Miss Walker. Please be reasonable. Goodbye, Mr. Canton. All sorts of sedatives and tranquilizers. Charming. Hurry up.
Yes, Dr. Eltimova. I'm doing whatever I can. Get this damn tap open in the end, you'll see. Ah. Ah. That's it. Well, that should convince the Yukul scum to strike camp and go back where she came from. Come on, Helmet. Let's not hang about here. Yes, of course, Dr. Ethanol. An old gas can, empty. What a catastrophe! Hydrochloric acid. Too dangerous without some kind of receptacle underneath. This thing is stuck. <laughs> 